Hey, what's going on? Zach here. Today we're gonna to be talking about editing your reel. So what is the best way to do it? How do you approach it? Like, how, where do you start? Uh, I'm gonna be talking about the whole process and what I went through when I was cutting together mine. It's been drilled into us for our whole lives that independence and self-reliance are paramount. I'm gonna be talking about, about five things that I focused on when doing mine and the five things you should focus on for doing yours. This is kind of like a blanket episode that covers pretty much all things for actors, directors, editors, and cinematographers, and basically anybody else that's sort of in the film industry wanting to highlight their work. For me, I'm a director, so I'm gonna be talking about the whole directing process, but every little tip trickles into each department. So the first thing you wanna do is think about what is the image and story that you're trying to tell. With any project that you edit together, you wanna to create a cohesive story. And so for me, I actually used a scene from one of my films and used that as kind of like a monologue that played throughout the whole film, and then I cut to that to tell my story. Is there a source of intimacy in now, that doesn't mean you have to have that in the background. That was just some sort of stylistic choice that I wanted to utilize because that represented my directing abilities and how I could tell a scene through that way. Grab the shots that you want incorporated in it and then find a theme that plays throughout. Maybe it's experiential. Maybe it's just like how people feel and, and stuff like that. It can be very basic, but what you want is to make sure that your audience can follow some sort of flow. The next thing you want to do is remember to start on a bang and end on an explosion. So have something that hooks your audience in and then by the end you want them to be like totally blown away way and super pumped about their whole experience that they had just had. So for me, I kind of started out with this like cool upside down drone shot going into a city. It was my favorite shot for one of the films that we had done and it just looked super dope and explained me as a director the best way I possibly could. The next thing that is pretty difficult is trying to figure out like the music choice. It's like, do I go with some sort of like techno slash electronic beat? Or do I go with like some classic folky song? Like, what sort of music do you use? And that actually takes a lot of time, and for me, it took forever. I go on this website called epidemicsound.com and basically played through a bunch of different tunes. And I landed on this really nice piano ballad. Really, you want the music to complement your work as best as possible. And even if it does seem a little pretentious or inflating yourself a bit, it doesn't matter. That's, it's your demo reel. Another thing that you want to keep in mind is that this is about you. The stuff that's on screen and what people are watching for the next two to three minutes is all focusing on the work that you've created. So if you're an actor and you did a really cool cool like shootout scene but you only play a second in it sure it shows that you've done some bigger things but as a director looking at an actor's reel I don't really get to see your acting abilities I just get to see that you are in some sort of interesting project so really focus on what is highlighting the work that you have done and finally the most difficult thing about this entire process is finding all of the footage and making a story out of it. And it's like picking favorites for me. Like I had over like 200 minutes of footage from films. I had like 10 short films, like 20 music videos and a full feature film to grab my favorite shots from. It was hell trying to find my favorites because I love every single thing part of those movies. But what you have to do is serve the story and serve the purpose of what you're trying to represent. So finding those little tiny moments that serve the greater thing. And maybe you're not picking your favorite shot from that film. Maybe you're picking the best shot that fits with all of the other ones. And like just quick tip, uh, if you're a cinematographer or director or any sort of visual storyteller, you want to make sure that you have a wide variety of wides, mediums, and close-ups. You don't want there to be too many close-ups. The audience will start to feel claustrophobic. You don't want too many wides because you're not showing enough detail within your projects. Have a happy medium between it. Wides serve better stylistic choices than close-ups, uh, but obviously have a good mix between them all. Again, if you guys want to see an example of a demo reel, I have a couple in the description below that I've edited together. Okay, that's it. I'm about to head out enjoy this wonderful weather. It was great seeing you guys. If you guys like this video and want to check out more, please give me a subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and tell your friends. I want to see your friends. I want to see you more often. So uh, let's keep this whole thing going. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head out. Um, oh, by the way, this video was shot on the Sony a6300, which uh, is, I don't know. Did you like this quality? Let me know. I'm thinking about keeping this camera. I can return it within a couple days. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you all later. Thank you.